Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you my newest world building item, this big building right here. Welcome to the party, pal! Okay guys, so here is my newest building added to my world. Uh, Folsom 11, for you guys that don't know, Folsom 11 is uh, the world that my son and I created. It I did dedicate an Instagram page to it. I will leave a link in the description below. Please follow me there if you're into world building um, and stories and stuff like that. Um, I don't I don't frequent it quite as much as I should, but I'm really happy with the pictures that are on there, the, the story that I've been able to tell so far. Um, as you can see, this is uh, it was described. I bought this off of eBay. It was called a bombed out building and the gentleman, I'll leave a link to his store also in the description below. He said that this was from Empire Toy Works. He said it was from Empire Toy Works's uh, wood days. So he's had it for a long time. Um, if you don't know the story, Empire Toy Works did use, used to, when he first started, do all of his buildings in wood. And I think in one of the videos where he's interviewed, he does say that he just used the scraps of wood that he had in his shop, in his family's shop, and eventually they all ran out. And that was kind of when he he moved on to casting and resin and printing and all that kind of stuff. Now, I will say this one does not have uh, Empire's signature, his mark on it. I don't know when he started signing his work and when he doesn't. But all of the pieces that I've gotten from him are signed. This one is not. Now, there's no way to know if this is Empire or not without asking Chris Shaler, Empire Toy Works himself, which I'm not going to do. Um, I'm only bringing it up because that was what the seller said. And to be honest, it doesn't matter. This piece is so nice. It's so good. Um, I don't really care. Um, it came up when I searched Empire Toy Works in eBay. That's how I found this. It popped up. The gentleman does have a lot of other Empire Toy Works items on his, or in his store. Um, some of them I have, like he has a speeder. I have that speeder. Um, there's some other items on there that I know for sure are Empire. Um, he actually has three or four other buildings in wood that he also says are Empire. And maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, but again, it doesn't really matter. I'm just telling you the story um, because this thing is so nice. I wouldn't be surprised if it is Empire because the quality of it, the paint job, the sculpt, um, it's so good, guys. I'm so happy I picked this thing up. Just to give you a sense of scale, um, this thing is exactly one feet tall. And of course it is four sided. I did have to back up the camera quite a bit to be able to show this to you. Um, but you can see here, it, it's two stories. It's open here in the back. You can see that. I did use this on my, my last Joy Toy Tyranades video. So if you go through those pictures there at the beginning of that video, maybe you noticed this in it um, but you can see all of the carving the paint job i would not be surprised at all if this really is empire um, but usually he signs his work on the bottom or on the inside and this one is not signed now again it doesn't matter to me if it is or isn't um but man, this is a great piece. And it was so inexpensive um, comparative to what Empire Toy Works buildings go for now. And even compared to the other buildings that this guy is selling on his page, this was like half the price. Um, so worth it. I'm so glad I took a chance on it. This is one of my favorite pieces right now. I love this thing because, you know, it can be anything you want. It could be for G.I. Joe. It could be sci-fi. It could be anything. I think the sign there 
is in, you know, maybe Chinese or Korean or something, Japanese, I don't know. Um, but it can be used for anything. It's very kind of a, uh, dystopian in some ways. I could see this being used as um, like a horror or, you know, like um, scary, something scary like Halloween or something. Um, here's another, give you a little bit sense of scale again. Here's a Star Wars Vantage Collection figure and an Eagle Force figure. And you can see there, they're just, the scale is perfect. It really is. Oops, he fell through. It's a hole right there, so he fell through. Um, but you can see, just perfect. All the painting, the shading, you know, it's just, just a great, great piece. I'm just so glad. I'm, I'm at this point now where I don't need any more buildings. I have plenty. And so I haven't really been, you know, uh, buying any. I, I don't need any. I don't want any. But I thought this one was so different compared to the other stuff that I have. And it was so much cheaper that it was worth a try. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I did. You can see here how there's these boards blocking the, uh, the window there. Let me bring it a little bit closer. Show you guys with the light here. I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit for you. But you can just see all the detail, all the paint. Just a great, great piece all around. Got a rooftop. Now this thing is quite, you know, heavy because it is wood. It's quite a bit heavier than the resin cast pieces that I have. But because it's wood, the thing is sturdy. You know, it's not gonna break. You can actually play with this thing. Uh, the, the only thing I felt like that's kind of fragile is the sign. Um, like the sign might break off, I think, if you dropped it. But it's attached really well with screws to the base. Probably glued as well. Great, great piece, guys. I have something kind of similar to this in uh, Styrofoam that I bought off someone, one of the first uh, dioramas that I bought, but I was really disappointed in the Styrofoam. And that's why I looked for alternatives like wood, like cast, like resin. And that's why I don't buy Styrofoam. I know a lot of people like it. A lot of people can work with it. It's a great medium. But I do like to play with my dioramas with my son. Uh, I like to set them up. I don't want to worry about them chipping, falling, breaking um, the fragility of styrofoam. And um, it, it just, it's not for me. It's not for me. So you have to pay a little bit more to get them, you know, cast in resin or wood. But I find the longevity of them, the durability of them uh, exceeds, you know, you get what you pay for. So overall, great item. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this guy's page below. He does have a lot of smalls, like Empire Toy Works smalls, uh, carts and speeders and uh, tables and chairs and things like that. Um, like I said, many other buildings too in wood. But um, I think, you know, for me, I got the best, you know, that I could. Um, it almost looks like this thing is stone, I think. I, I think that's coming across on the camera. It looks like it's it's stone. It's been made out of stone because it's such a good paint job. All right, guys, so that is my newest world building building item. Uh, I don't wanna, I guess I'll say it's from Empire Toy Works. I don't know for sure though. That's why there's such a long long ramble story there. But let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Bit of a short one. Uh, but I did want to show you what I recently picked up. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.